Let's go back in time to the world before September the 11th, 2001. Men played with their sons in the fields. Men played card games with their friends. Men filled up their SUVs at the gas station. But all of that changed one day. What first got me to question the nature of the world we're living in today was the word terrorist. As we all know, there was no such thing as the word terrorist until 9-11 came along. Except for the Irish Republican Army, the bad guys out of the Die Hard trilogy, and the Red Army faction of West Germany. But apart from that, it was all just a word made up by the government to keep us from the truth that 9-11 was an inside job. But wait, what happens if we go deeper down the rabbit hole? What other dark secrets can we uncover? One day I realized that until 2001, I had never even seen or heard of a vagina. And I had already done my research and read four whole books, two of which didn't even have pictures in them. I began to question whether or not women, like terrorists, were just an invention of the communist government to divide society and conquer us from within. My suspicions were eventually confirmed by the True Force Loneliness Group, or TFL, led by a man so edumacated that he spells the possessive term our as A-R-E. I had to be sure of my suspicions, however, and I wanted to hear the opinions of other experts, so I arranged an interview with freedom activist and talk radio host Alex Jones, who had this to say. She was like one-eyed, like Sauron. Ah, and he's the center of everything. Oh, God, bring me the brain damage. Ah, oh, you son of a bitch! Ah, yeah, oh, we love it, oh, yeah! Kill, kill, kill! Ah, oh, yeah, I'll kill that whole family! Powerful stuff, indeed. Oh, God. I also did some biomological research into the cause of women and asked the expert using the code name Raven Gage Smith about his views on the matter. Testosterone is not a toxin. Estrogen is a toxin. It's a fucking brainwashed bullshit designed by the government, designed by the bankers, and designed by the Rockefellers and Rothschilds to divide the sexes. They want to turn men against the women so they can have their population reduction and population control. For people who don't understand the technicalities, Allow me to demonstrate where the problem lies. Men who have sex with men are gay. Women have sex with men. Given that having sex with men is gay, women are also gay, which automatically means by default that they possess AIDS. As we see, it was all a conspiracy set up by the government in order to control the population. As we already know, the government has the government in their pockets. But this does not mean that we are powerless. They can be defeated. There is a solution. I asked the expert Raven Gage Smith once again on how he suggests that we deal with this problem. He suggested this. We need to take a stand, put a stop to all this, like I said, just gather them all up into one massive group, spread their legs, start slicing their inside uh, uteruses, and start slicing their throat and tubes up. Then the NWO and the bankers and New World Order can, um, and the Rockefellers, and the CIA, and the Rothschilds, they can have their own population reduction, uh, population reduction, population control that way. Well, anyways, just a few thoughts uh, to bear in mind. So you see, viewers, hope always prevails. <laughs>